Hey, hey, what is up my friends? So, uh, this morning I've been uh, redoing my office. Check it out. The desk was over here. I had a little bookshelf over there and then like a little drawer thing over here. Um, got some weights and stuff right here, but still need to clean this up. The whole point of this was to basically make it easy for me to record a video. So I got the uh, camera and stuff set up right here. And then you get a little bit of this uh, monitor and the flowers and desk and stuff. And then the background's just the stripes and it's nice and clean and minimal. So the whole point of this was to have a nice clean backdrop for um, the courses that I'm gonna start doing very soon. But yeah, let me switch to this camera. So yeah, this is my new setup. Still got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but um, basically I'm gonna be able to make courses um, and then have uh, a nice clean background but the whole reason I wanted to do this is so that um, I could talk to the camera like I am now but then turn and actually work on my screen and then uh, do jump cuts back and forth. On some other videos I've done the um, the video just sits blank. Um, it just sits still while I'm working um, or while I'm explaining something. Uh, so I think if I uh, have the screen right here um, when I'm looking at it, I can jump to the screen. When I'm not, I can like look back at the camera and explain stuff. Um, and I think it will just make for a uh, better presentation, basically. So yeah, I hope this uh, helps me uh, crank out some new videos and stuff. But let me get to what I wanted to talk about. And that is, um, it is already July, which means that half of the year is gone. Um, I, for one, will admit that uh, these past six months have not been as productive as I would have liked them to. Um, I did not get nearly as much done. And honestly, that's a mixture of uh, a bit of burnout, uh, procrastination, and um, honestly, just laziness. <laughs> there are probably a lot of times when I was watching Netflix when I should have been uh, working on something else. And basically, I find it hard to follow through on my side projects, which brings me to this. All right, so uh, I've been working on this for the past like week, um, week or so, and uh, this is my roadmap, my side project roadmap. Um, so the idea behind this is to just list out um, everything I'm planning on doing over the next like uh, six to 12 months. Um, it's got a bunch of projects that I want to work on. Um, it's got what I'm currently working on. Uh, and then stuff that I hopefully someday uh, want to launch. Um, and the reason I made this is for social accountability. So I'm hoping that you uh, will follow along with this and um, keep me accountable to my deadlines that I'm sticking for myself. Uh, so when you land on the page, it says, uh, this is what I'm working on. It's my side project roadmap, follow along, keep me accountable. And then it goes in to explain why. Um, basically, uh, what I just said, I find it hard to um, follow through on my side projects when um, I don't have anyone other than myself to be accountable to. Um, so basically, I have what I'm currently working on. So uh, I was going to do the blocks uh, version, like 1.5 v2 or whatever, um, but I'm going to put that on pause just because, like, Honestly, I'm stuck on it. Um, so I got the initial version out. I am definitely going to add more to it, but I do want to get like the fundamentals of web design course done. Um, and I want to get the version one of Chico HQ up and uh, have all of this live on the Chico HQ site. Uh, but yeah, it has up next uh, my Blocks wireframing kit, which I consider 25% completed because I already launched the version one of that. Um, I want to do more stuff like create a special logo for it. I want to create a little website um, as well as create like drip sequences and um, just a few more or add a few more blocks and components to it as well. So I'll be working on that probably next. Um, then I want to do a colors of web design course. I want to create a blocks mini uh, user flow kit. I want to do a sketch course, an illustrator course, um, an illustrations 101 course. Um, and then another blocks mobile kit, and then maybe a wireframing course and a branding course. Uh, my someday projects, I want to eventually launch a design community um, called the Chico Community. Basically what I've been thinking about is like 
the feedback loop is like you need to learn, practice, and then get feedback. So the community would be my answer to that. But yeah, I, I literally just launched this. Um, I'm currently working on the fundamentals of web design course. Uh, I still need to plan it out, think through all the lessons and blog posts and everything that I'm gonna be adding. So as you can see, there's definitely a lot of to-dos I need to do on that. In addition to all this, uh, another thing I've been working on is uh, this. Basically, uh, I've realized like uh, one of the big goals of this project, of uh, the Chico HQ site, is I want it to be illustrated and fun. I want to create a bunch of illustrations that accompany the teaching uh, to help like visually reinforce the copy. Um, and one thing I've realized is I kind of suck at illustrations. Like it's really, really hard for me to even sketch out just a basic character. So uh, what I've been doing over the past couple weeks is just practicing, um, drawing different characters, different faces. Um, I've really been focusing on like the facial expressions because that's like kind of where I lack. But I think doing all that is gonna help me um, in the future. I kind of had an idea of making it sort of like a making the Chico site sort of like a comic style. I'm not exactly sure what that would look like, but I do think it would be fun. The inspiration behind that was from um, the design team. It's a little comic. If you go to thedesignteam.io, um, Pablo Stanley uh, made this amazing little comic series about um, this girl who joins a design team out in San Francisco. And there's a bunch of awesome like little comments like the insecure designer, the imposter, brainstorming session, the onboard a buddy. Um, there's just a lot of awesome stuff and I really love that style. So I think it'd be really, really cool if I could take some inspiration from what he's done and maybe sort of like apply that to the Chico style. I definitely don't want to copy him in any way, but I do think he's found a fantastic way of like doing the illustrations, but also the storytelling. And if I can like nail that down for Chico, I think it will be an awesome resource for people. So yeah, if you want to uh, follow along with my little side project roadmap, you can go to uh, mckinseychild.me slash roadmap. Um, I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, but yeah, I I'm pretty excited about this. I feel like uh, the first six months of the year have not been as productive as I would like them, but I'm just gonna put all that in the past and focus on doing better in the next six months. Um, that's really where the inspiration for this roadmap came from. So um, I'm gonna try to work a lot more in public and um, hopefully that will keep me accountable to uh, what I say I'm gonna do basically. Um, and now that I got this new setup in my office, I think like uh, recording uh, the course videos will be so much easier because uh, I can literally just sit down and turn on the camera and uh, start recording. All right, so anyways, that is all for this one, my friends. Uh, until next time, have a beautiful day and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.